Hey guys, so recently we've given ourselves a project um, at the last minute before Christmas to make some cornhole boards. There is an example of one here. This is the one that we made for ourselves. Charlie and I have spent a week making one for us, one for Charlie's family and one for my family. And it was blood, sweat and tears. Um, instead of giving you guys all the trials and tribulations and the errors and all the stuff as we did and you guys having to endure, I'm going to leave the instructions in the description. Uh, I, I found some really, really good instructions, PDF, uh, that have all the right measurements, everything free to download, um, and I'll link to it, as well as I'll link to the official rules and all this sort of stuff to do with cornhole. If you don't know what cornhole is, it's basically a game where you have these bags filled with corn, and you stand about four and a half meters away and you throw them. Whoa, that was a good shot. <laughs> and if you get it in a hole, you get three points. If it stays on the board, if it stays on the board, you get one point. Now, normally, you, you get zero points. Yeah, normally you play it with two boards, but you can play it with one, take turns, you can knock other people off, stuff like that. Anyway, we have... Oh, go Finny! <laughs> Did you see his hole in one? That's awesome, Finny. High five. So anyway, the way I made this design is basically I, um, I drew my cartoon on the, co um, on the computer, designed it in uh, Gravit Designer, and then I printed it out on an A4 sheet of paper and used some carbon paper to trace it onto here and then painted it with some black paint. Uh, polyurethane went over the top of it so it's nice and smooth and it slides pretty well. On the back side of this we have Light. legs that can fall down so it's got these wing nuts as well as a light so if you do a little close up here you've got a light that LED light that works in the dark and lights up the underneath of the board as well as ouch you right <laughs> just dunk yourself in the head <laughs> all right you okay yeah all right so this is easily foldable you can use it as like a storage device if it's in your car etc and yeah so the biggest issue i've got with building these is that you kind of got to get it wrong like three times before you get it right it's like anything right so we built three of them I think the next one would be a hell of a lot easier to build now because I've got all these little tricks and things I would avoid the next time. So yeah, I am really happy with the way they turned out. Um, it's an insane, insane amount of work to do before Christmas with all the other busy stuff that people have going on. But we got it done and yeah, we'll be bringing this one with us uh, to camp and uh, on our caravan trip and we'll have lots of fun. Hope this inspires you guys to make something of your own. Like I said, if you like the look of this, Look at the link, look at the description, and it's going to give you a lot of tips that will save you time. 